Okay, so Harry and Meghan are spotify Imagine that. So that's what the video is going to be about. I hope you like the video. If you do like the video, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. It does seem like they could have got this thing going. They've got lots of different venues that should be going already, it seems like to me. So let's just look at the cards and see what the cards can tell us about uh, Mary and Megan's Spotify, and I like that. Okay, so these cards are, are the, just the latest thing, I believe. So this is by the artist, uh, is Ciolo, Ciolo Thompson, Ciolo Thompson. And it's, this is called the Line Strider Tarot, the Line Strider Tarot. Comes in a great box, and it's, it's got some beautiful imagery on the outside of the box, and a nice little introduction back here. Uh, I like this as Body, Mind, and Spirit Tarot. So very interesting. But uh, the box itself is one of the cool uh, magnetic snaps. It's beautiful. It's got a nice glossy finish. It really feels uh, like a, a precious uh, stationery would come in here. The book is amazing quality. I mean, I don't I don't know if you can see it, but like each one of these pages is just, there's really good quality. The book is full color. And it's interesting here because it talks just a little bit about Solio Thompson. And I'll just tell you very quickly that she's a self-taught visual artist and she lives in the Seattle, Washington area. And um, so this is her first uh, deck. So the first published deck anyway. And then in, over here she's talking about... This was a journey for her, and uh, the Line Strider deck uh, has got a lot of animal uh, imagery, and that it brings in some uh, tarot images from her childhood. Now, she grew up uh, where? She grew up in, uh, she was born in uh, Western Samoa, and then uh, she also uh, lived in Bolivia. And so uh, she has an amazing uh, childhood and, um, and brought a lot of attention to the cards. So there we go. The book is fantastic. The cards themselves are also pretty amazing but I mean they're a gentle spirit they're a good quality of card you know they're stiff they're uh, slicky but they don't cause a problem they shuffle uh, really well and uh, so you know they're just great and then they're very easy to interpret and the reason is that uh, each card really tells you right there what's on the card okay so you don't have to just rely on the imagery but if you really look at what's drawn on there it's pretty amazing I mean and then you start to wonder why did she uh, allow, uh, allow this animal for this particular uh, divination so the beautiful cards good suggestions in the book how to um, you know use them and I just lay them out like this so you have a chance to look at uh, more than just the few cards that uh, you know reader pulls out when they're doing our shtick and then um, you know, maybe um, you might decide uh, you like the cards. If you don't see a lot of cards, I know when I was just watching um, this stuff on uh, YouTube, I wanted to see more cards than I was seeing. So there we go. Okay, so Megan and Harry, Megan and Harry, the Duke and Duchess. I want to know about Spotify uh, content for their venues um, and the Queen and Lilibet. So, but before we do that. Do this for just a couple of minutes. Okay. So, three cards Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Spotify deal. Is that revived? Three cards. Okay. One. Two, three. Spotify deal is it revived. Three cards. First card, the sun. Ah, I mean, that's fantastic. That is a great big offer of sunshine down on the subject. And I love this card because it shows this little rabbit hiding under this really flourishing bunch of uh, flora right here. So that's the first card. Is the Spotify deal. Okay, Ace of Swords. Okay, truth, justice, rules, law. Yeah, strong. The last one for Spotify, 
the Knight of Cups. Okay, someone had brought in a great big offer of compassion into this situation. So that smelly uh, dead fish uh, got revived. Interesting. Spotify deal. Looks like it's fine. It got us a breath of fresh air. Now the next question. Um, will we see content from any of their venues in 2022? Will we see content from any of their venues um, in 2022? Three cards. Okay, so this will be one. This is two. And this is three. Will we see a revenue from any of their venues in 2022? First card, Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is a is being very embattled. Okay, so it's a lot of wands are actions, plans. There's lots of plans. There's a lot of actions. There's a lot of stuff going on, and they are whipped. So you wouldn't think it from where we're at, but from their side, there must be an awful lot uh, that they're having to take care of uh, behind the scenes. We see anything in 2022? The Seven of Pentacles. Uh, Seven of Pentacles is looking at a thing and wondering if you've got enough done, as a matter of fact. So, yeah, this is them uh, wondering, are we going to be able to get this thing done? The last card is the Seven of Cups, and the Seven of Cups is illusion and delusion. So they may be able to, through some sort of a mag magic, uh, bring this thing uh, uh, together uh, at the last minute. So I think probably we'll see something in 2022. The last question, then. Will the Queen meet Lilibet? this year. Will the Queen meet Lilibet this year, 2022? So this is going to be um, six cards. Will the Queen meet Lilibet in 2022? Six cards. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Will the Queen meet Lilibet in 2022? Will the Queen meet Lilibet in 2022? First card, signifier, Nine of Swords. That's really a nightmare. Okay, the Nine of Swords is something just being a nightmare. And look at this. We have this fox kind of looking up the hill, almost like at a castle. Not quite a castle, but it brings that to mind. So Nine of Swords really being about truth, justice, rules, law. All those things are, uh, are a nightmare right now. Signifier. The challenge to that is the tower. Okay, a disaster. So yeah, we've got the Prince Andrew thing. Uh, we've got, uh, of course, the ongoing saga with Harry and William and Charles. Um, so yeah, the tower card, the disaster that this is, is the challenge to uh, you know all the nightmare that it is. Maybe not. So the Knight of Wands, at the base of this, the Wands or uh, actions uh, in, in the Knight is the one who's, when he's given that charge, he's going to try to make it happen. So the base of this is really, there's things happening towards that end. You wouldn't think so, but yeah, there's someone working very hard towards that, that plan. Uh, in the past of the Ace of Pentacles, there's a lot of value here. This, look at this. This is the baby, as a matter of fact. This is a little bit, and she is a great big bundle of precious, uh, very valuable. And the sky this reading is the devil. Well, that's the all Ill, Ill intention and all the ridiculousness that's going on around all of this, but look where it's positioned. It's way up here, right in the sky. So it's got a very prominent position in all of this. The likely outcome, then, will she meet a little bit this year, is a four cups probably not because this is uh this can be um interpreted as being offered something you don't want which could be the sussexes not getting quite what they want to bring this reunion back together or it could be the queen uh um not necessarily being offered something she doesn't want but something she can't take so yeah i don't think she's going to meet the queen this year interesting I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now. One, two, three. You really make a big difference. Thank you.